Yo, I'm Dr. Cool. Trump's sudden invitation of Maxwell Chikambutso, inventor of Zimbabwe, fuels speculations and skepticism. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's a rumor. It's a hoax. How about a pencil? Well, 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 let me lecture you, pal. Trump is not a politician. A politician you can hold for 10 hours in a room asking 20 questions but won't get an answer. No, he's not a politician, but a legitimate badass businessman with eyes of an eagle. He can spot business opportunities that could have potential profits that runs in billions of dollars from a thousand miles. A genuine capitalist in its truest forms. Ever shifting sands of geopolitics, alliances are formed, rivalries simmer and power plays unfold. The global stage is a complex web of interactions where every move is calculated, every handshake scrutinized, and every decision can have far-reaching consequences. Leaders from around the world gather in summits, negotiate behind closed doors, and make strategic alliances that can shift the balance of power. It's a world where nothing is as it seems, and every action is driven by a mix of ambition, strategy, and sometimes sheer survival. But few moves are as perplexing as the recent invitation extended to Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso by none other than former President Donald Trump. Chikumbutso, a man of humble beginnings, has made waves in the tech world with his groundbreaking innovations. His work in renewable energy and sustainable technology has caught the attention of many, but an invitation from Trump raises eyebrows. What could Trump, a figure synonymous with American capitalism and conservative values, want with an inventor from a developing nation? The former president, known for his bold statements and unorthodox methods, has always been a polarizing figure. His tenure in the White House was marked by a series of controversial decisions and his post-presidency has been no different. Inviting Chikumbutso to the United States is a move that has left many analysts scratching their heads. Is this a genuine interest in Chikumbutso's work, or is there a deeper, more strategic motive at play? Why would a man known for his business acumen and America First policies court a relatively unknown figure from a developing nation? The answer, as with most things in the realm of power, is shrouded in intrigue and speculation. Some believe that Trump sees an opportunity to harness Chikumbutso's innovations for economic gain potentially revolutionizing industries and creating new markets. Others suggest that this is a move to bolster his own legacy, positioning himself as a forward-thinking leader who embraces cutting-edge technology. The answer, as with most things in the realm of power, is shrouded in intrigue and speculation. Some whisper of a potential energy revolution, a seismic shift away from fossil fuels and towards a cleaner, greener future. Chikumbutso's work in renewable energy could be the key to unlocking a new era of sustainable development. And Trump, ever the opportunist, may see this as a chance to position the United States at the forefront of this movement. Some whisper of a potential energy revolution, a seismic shift away from fossil fuels and towards a cleaner, greener future. Chikumbutso's innovations could pave the way for a new era of energy independence, reducing reliance on traditional energy sources and mitigating the impacts of climate change. This could be a game changer, not just for the United States, but for the entire world. A seismic shift away from fossil fuels and towards a cleaner, greener future. The potential impact of Chikumbutso's work cannot be overstated. Imagine a world where renewable energy is the norm, where cities are powered by clean, sustainable sources and where the environmental footprint of human activity is drastically reduced. This is the vision that Chikumbutso's innovations promise, and it's a vision that Trump may be keen to capitalize on. Others, more cynical perhaps, see a calculated move to acquire and control groundbreaking technology, ensuring American dominance in a rapidly changing world. In a landscape where technological advancements can make or break economies, having control over the next big thing is a powerful position to be in. Trump's invitation to Chikumbutso could be seen as a strategic play to secure America's place at the top of the global tech hierarchy, ensuring American dominance in a rapidly changing world. The geopolitical landscape is constantly evolving and staying ahead of the curve is crucial. By aligning with Chikumbutso, Trump could be positioning the United States to lead the charge in the next wave of technological innovation. This move could have far-reaching implications, not just for the tech industry, but for global power dynamics as a whole. Whatever the true motive, one thing is certain. This unexpected invitation has sent ripples of anticipation and apprehension across the globe. The world is watching closely, eager to see what will come of this unlikely partnership. Will it lead to groundbreaking advancements and a brighter future, or is it simply another chapter in the complex saga of global power plays? The stakes, as they say, are incredibly high. The outcome of this collaboration could shape the future in ways we can only begin to imagine. As the world holds its breath, one thing is clear, the game of geopolitics is as unpredictable and fascinating as ever. Maxwell Chikumbutso is not a household name, not yet anyway, but in the world of innovation and technology, he is a rising star whose work could potentially change the way we think about energy and sustainability. His journey is one of resilience, creativity, and an unyielding belief in the power of human ingenuity. Hailing from Zimbabwe, a nation grappling with economic hardship, Chikumbutso's story is even more remarkable. 
Zimbabwe is a country where resources are scarce and opportunities for scientific research and development are limited, yet in this challenging environment, Chikumbutso has managed to carve out a niche for himself, driven by a vision of a better, more sustainable future. He is an inventor who dares to dream big. His lab, though modest, is a hive of activity and innovation. Here he spends countless hours tinkering, experimenting and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. His work is not just about creating new gadgets, it's about solving real-world problems and making a tangible difference in people's lives. His claim to fame, a revolutionary invention dubbed the Greener Power Machine, a device that could potentially transform the energy landscape. This machine is designed to generate electricity from radio frequencies, a concept that sounds like science fiction, but is rooted in real scientific principles. The Greener Power Machine supposedly generates electricity from radio frequencies, capturing energy that is all around us but often goes unnoticed. This technology, if proven viable, could provide a new, sustainable source of power that is both clean and inexhaustible. Essentially pulling energy from the air, this invention could revolutionize the way we think about power generation. Imagine a world where energy is abundant and accessible to all, without the need for extensive infrastructure or fossil fuels. Imagine a world free from the shackles of power grids where homes and industries are powered by a clean, inexhaustible source. This is not just a dream, it is a tantalizing possibility that Chikumbutso dangles before a world hungry for sustainable solutions, where homes and industries are powered by a clean, inexhaustible source. The implications of such a technology are profound. It could lead to a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, decrease our reliance on fossil fuels, and pave the way for a more sustainable and equitable energy future. This is the tantalizing possibility that Chikumbutso dangles before a world hungry for sustainable solutions. He doesn't stop there. His vision extends beyond just one invention. He is constantly exploring new ideas and technologies that could further push the boundaries of what is possible. His repertoire also includes an electric car, a vehicle that could redefine the automotive industry. This car is allegedly powered by the same groundbreaking technology that drives the greener power machine, offering a glimpse into a future where transportation is both sustainable and efficient. Allegedly powered by the same groundbreaking technology, this electric car requires no charging, and boasts an impressive range. If true, this could eliminate one of the biggest hurdles facing electric vehicles today, the need for frequent recharging and the limitations of battery life. Requiring no charging and boasting an impressive range, this vehicle could make electric cars more practical and accessible to a broader audience. It could also reduce the environmental impact of transportation, contributing to cleaner air and a healthier planet. If true, his inventions could reshape our world, ushering in an era of energy abundance and environmental renewal. The potential impact of Chikumbutso's work is immense, offering solutions to some of the most pressing challenges of our time, ushering in an era of energy abundance and environmental renewal. His work could lead to a future where energy is not a limiting factor, but a catalyst for growth and development, enabling new possibilities and improving the quality of life for people around the world. But are his claims too good to be true? Skepticism is natural, especially when faced with ideas that challenge the status quo. The scientific community is still evaluating the feasibility of his inventions, and rigorous testing and validation are necessary to confirm their effectiveness. However, the mere possibility of such breakthroughs is enough to inspire hope and excitement for a future where technology and innovation drive positive change. The scientific community, a world governed by the laws of physics and rigorous testing, remains unconvinced. Despite the excitement and the bold claims, skepticism runs deep. Scientists are trained to question everything, to demand proof and evidence before accepting any new theory or invention. This rigorous approach has been the bedrock of scientific progress for centuries, ensuring that only the most robust ideas survive. So, when someone like Chikumbutso comes along with claims that seem to defy the very laws of nature, it's no surprise that the scientific community reacts with caution and doubt. Chikumbutso's claims, they argue, border on the impossible. The idea that one could generate significant amounts of energy from radio frequencies enough to power cars and homes challenges our current understanding of physics. It's not just about skepticism. It's about the fundamental principles that have been tested and proven over time. The scientific method demands repeatability and verifiability, and so far Chikumbutso's claims have not met these stringent criteria. Perpetual motion, the holy grail of energy production that has eluded inventors for centuries, is a scientific impossibility. The laws of thermodynamics, which govern energy and its transformations, clearly state that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted from one form to another. Any device claiming to produce more energy than it consumes is immediately met with suspicion. History is littered with failed attempts and debunked claims, and Chikumbutso's invention is seen by many as just another in a long line of hopeful but ultimately flawed ideas. While harvesting radio frequencies for energy is not a new concept, the amount of power generated is minuscule. Radio waves are a form of electromagnetic radiation, 
And while they do carry energy, the density of this energy is extremely low. Existing technologies can capture and convert this energy, but the output is so small that it's only useful for powering tiny devices like sensors or low-power electronics. The leap from these small-scale applications to powering an entire car or home is enormous and, according to current scientific understanding, unfeasible. As certainly not enough to power a car, let alone a home, the energy requirements for such applications are orders of magnitude higher than what can be harvested from ambient radio frequencies. This is why the scientific community remains highly skeptical of Chikumbutso's claims. Without concrete, reproducible evidence, these claims are seen as more of a fantasy than a feasible reality. The lack of independent verification further fuels the skepticism. In science, independent replication of results is crucial. It ensures that findings are not just flukes or errors, but are genuinely reflective of a new discovery. Chikumbutso's work has not been subjected to this level of scrutiny. Without independent verification, his claims remain unproven and, to many, unbelievable. While Chikumbutso has conducted demonstrations, they have been dismissed as staged and lacking scientific rigor. Demonstrations can be impressive, but they are not a substitute for rigorous testing and peer review. The scientific community demands transparency and repeatability. And so far, Chikumbutso's demonstrations have not provided the level of detail and openness required to convince skeptics. The absence of peer-reviewed studies and the shroud of secrecy surrounding his trade secret technology raise more questions than answers. Peer review is a cornerstone of scientific validation. It involves experts in the field critically evaluating new research to ensure its validity and reliability. Without this process, any claims remain unverified and speculative. The secrecy around Chikumbutso's technology only adds to the doubts, as it prevents other scientists from examining and testing his claims. Is Chikumbutso a visionary genius on the cusp of changing the world, or is he a skilled illusionist peddling dreams disguised as reality? The line between innovation and illusion can be thin, and only time and rigorous testing will reveal the truth. Until then, the scientific community remains cautious, ever vigilant in its quest for truth and understanding. Section 4, The American Agenda, Securing Energy Dominance The United States, a nation built on innovation and a thirst for power, has always been at the forefront of technological advancement. So it's no surprise that Chikumbutso's claims, however dubious, have piqued their interest. Could this be the key to achieving energy independence, a long-held dream for a nation heavily reliant on foreign oil, or is there a more strategic calculation at play? Securing control of a potentially disruptive technology like Chikumbutso's could give the US a significant edge in the global arena. Imagine wielding the power to dictate the terms of energy production, to hold the keys to a resource the world so desperately needs. It's a tantalizing prospect, one that could cement American hegemony for decades to come, but at what cost? Section 5. A New World Order, Decentralization and Its Discontents The implications of Chikumbutso's technology, if genuine, extend far beyond the borders of any one nation. Imagine a world where energy is no longer a scarce commodity, where developing nations are freed from the grip of energy poverty, and where individuals can generate their own power, unshackled from centralized grids. This is the promise of decentralization, a future where power, both literally and figuratively, is redistributed. But such a radical shift would inevitably uh, disrupt the existing world order. Governments, energy giants, and corporations that have long profited from controlling access to energy would find their dominance challenged. The geopolitical landscape could be redrawn as nations currently dependent on energy imports become self-sufficient. The question is, are we ready for such a fundamental restructuring of power? Or we want to go back to sleep, pretend is a dream only to wake up to seeing our fossil fuel industry rusting away and becomes relics of the past or rant. Maxwell, Chikumbutso is a scam. Anyways, if you are in support of this move, I anticipate hearing your thoughts. Say no if you don't want Maxwell to honour the invitation to White House. As always, I am Dr. Cool, who keeps it everly cool, gentlemen and ladies. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a flight to catch and a self-powered car to drive. To where? Comment section. Bye-bye.